guys and girls, so today I'm here with another Killstar slash Chinese company knockoff video, basically. <laughs> so recently I have been completely immersed in Chinese marketplaces, some of which which I'm sure you're very familiar with, such as Wish and AliExpress. Now, whenever I go onto any of these marketplaces, something which I am straight away bombarded with, as soon as I type in the words gothic dress is a million and one pictures of Killstar clothing. Now these aren't just like look-alike pictures, these are actual stock images off of the Killstar websites which they have just stolen and re-uploaded. So I did begin this journey by comparing the um, Spirit Walker hooded dress from Killstar with the knockoff version from Wish. So I will leave that up in the corner for you. But today I have decided to delve into the world of AliExpress. Now I am fully aware that it's not a new thing for companies such as AliExpress to take a product and duplicate it. However, I kind of assumed this was more like small independent stores on Etsy, which don't get me wrong, I do not condone in the slightest amount and that's one reason why I stay away from AliExpress and Wish because I don't want to buy a design off of them which perhaps is from a small independent company. But I have to say I was intrigued <laughs> when I saw the Killstar dresses. So I thought I would buy a Killstar dress of AliExpress and compare it to a Killstar, a genuine Killstar dress, which I already owned. So I would buy two of the same dress and compare them. So I wasn't just kind of guessing whether or not the quality was the same. I could visually see the difference between the two. So the dress I'm going to talk about today is called the Milky Way Skater Dress and it is this black and white dress. It's covered in moons, it's covered in stars and they've also got various different constellations of the different zodiac signs. Now originally I saw this dress and really liked it. I saw a couple of people wearing this dress in the um, Killstar Addicts group and it slowly was just calling to me. And then Ashley O'Neill did upload her Killstar um, plus size haul, which I will leave up again in the corner for you, um, where she reviewed this dress. So if you would like a full review of this dress, definitely check out her video. Um, and I just thought, you know what, I need to buy it. I need this dress. Um, and I'm so pleased I did. I did buy this dress long before I bought the ripoff version and I have been loving it. So I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of this dress just because I haven't talked about it before on my channel. So it is a kind of strap sleeved dress and on the bust there is this little kind of v-shape thing going on and then you have the star and the moon constellation print. Now it is in a skater style dress which is my favourite type of dress and it's very simple other than the kind of two bits on the bust other than that, it's just really a skater dress. It has kind of a bit for the bust. There is a band that goes right round the waist, which is made of the same material. It's all very stretchy material. And then you come down to the flowing part of the skirt at the bottom. So that's the dress really. Other than that, it is just a skater dress. It is made out of a really nice kind of material. It's a very kind of cool, breathable material. Almost cotton feeling. I believe this is made out of rayon rayon i think that's how you pronounce it but i do feel like it is a nice kind of high quality material as you can see like a nice thickness i'm holding it up in front of very bright lights um, and it's not see-through at all it sits nicely it's very comfortable to wear and i just genuinely am in love with this dress and that's when i noticed that they also sold it on AliExpress. <laughs> so this dress is one that pops up all over the place. When you type gothic dress onto AliExpress, this dress comes up literally nearly in every single page. They definitely were trying to sell me this dress and I guess it worked because I did purchase the AliExpress version of the Milky Way dress. So the Killstar version of this dress does retail at $39.99 which although is on slightly the pricier side I did use a discount code to get this. I believe I paid about £30 for this dress and I definitely would say it is 100% worth that price. 
Now on AliExpress, as you can see, they've got the exact same dress. However, they say that it was originally £11, which unlike the one that I reviewed from Wish, where it tried to claim that the dress was originally £70, um, sounds like a relatively reasonable price for an AliExpress dress. However, this was reduced down to £6.50. So this dress was purchased for £6.50. However, I'm pretty sure I did have a discount code. So it came to around £6 in all, which I paid for this. So for the AliExpress dress, I paid around a sixth of the price to the Killstar one. Now on AliExpress, this isn't described as the Milky Way skater dress. It is described as the Gothic Star Moonprint Hollow Out Woman Dress Haraki Fashion Punk A-Line Mini Dress Summer Casual Sexy Black Strap Vestidos Dress, I guess. Um, and yeah, the pictures are literal just stolen stock images. So I was not sure what to expect from this dress. They did actually have a couple of pictures of the actual product. So unlike Wish, where you only see pictures of the Killstar dress, they have a picture of a model wearing the Killstar version of this. And if you scroll right to the end, you'll see just a picture of this on a kind of plain mannequin. And you can definitely tell that it's not quite the same dress. So let's go for an overview. Straight up, the main difference I would say is the material. As you can see, this one is kind of a inside white material, is how I would describe it. If I get anything, whether it be socks, whether it be a top, whether it be a dress, if the material inside is white and the outside is black, you just know that it's going to be a very swimming costumey, kind of artificial, sort of silky in a bad way dress compared to the Killstar one, which is fully black on the inside and a kind of more cottony material. So straight away, you can see this one from AliExpress is definitely a lot more shiny, whereas the Killstar one is more of a matte black. You'll also be able to see as well, when comparing the waistbands, the Killstar one is a lot darker than the um, AliExpress one. And I believe that's because they have printed the color black on white material. So straight up, I have to say, the material is a lot different. It is a swimming costume material. However, unlike the previous dress which I bought from Wish, this material does have a nice weight to it. It does feel nice and weighty. It does have a nice kind of flow to it, although it just looks cheap. Like there's no way of getting around that. It just kind of looks cheap, especially when it's up against the Killstar one. So giving you an honest review, the um, AliExpress dress has been finished off really nicely. There seems to be no frays, no seam problems, no holes. It does seem to be finished off very nicely. And if you are just looking for a casual dress in this sort of style, maybe for a photo shoot, or just if you wanted to kind of try out a style, maybe this would be a nice option. So this dress has got exactly the same cut. It has the same shoulder straps. We have the top part, it goes into the waistband and then off into a skater dress. This dress, however, was only available from a size small to a large. So I bought the largest one, but I definitely think like, look at this waistband. <laughs> I would have definitely 110% benefited from getting this in a larger size. Um, the material, although it is stretchy, has very, very little give when you get to a certain point, whereas the Killstar one is incredibly forgiving. You could eat as many cakes as you wanted and still have room for more. Now, when comparing the kind of fronts of this dress, you can see that the kind of strappy bits are quite large on the Killstar one. It kind of swoops across your whole chest, whereas the AliExpress one almost looks a little bit like an afterthought, and it's a lot smaller um, and a bit more compact. And when you wear it, it doesn't give quite the same effect. I always feel like this kind of strap thing almost gives the effect of like a kind of almost harnessy look underneath, whereas this just looks a little bit like the seam has come apart. Despite the straps being shorter, when you line these dresses up in the middle, you can see that the AliExpress one is a lot longer than the Killstar one. So again, possibly a good option for if you have tried and tested the Killstar one and it's a bit short for you. Although I'm pretty sure you may have to be like six foot five for that to be the case because this dress is relatively long on me. I think the main difference and something which really confuses my brain is the way that the print is 
presented. So we've already talked about the fact that the material is a lot different. Although it is a swimming costume material, it's not see-through at all, so I can't kind of critique it in that way. The thing I can talk about is this print. So I'm going to show you this print side by side. So let's just like focus on one thing here. Let's focus on this area here. This is the Pisces area. I'm a Pisces, hence why I was self-obsessed and chose my own sign. So let's look for the Pisces on the Killstar dress. So here are the two Pisces sections. As you can see, they are very, very similar. We have Pisces written in exactly the same font. We've got the little moon that comes off the side and then we have the different size stars um, coming around to the constellation on the side. I think the overall look of this AliExpress one is that the print is larger. When you are placing them side by side, you can see the print is actually exactly the same size. It seems like they've almost scanned in the Killstar one and then printed it on a material. Now something which I was a bit unsure about when I first got the Killstar one is the fact that it is a black material and then the white parts are a transfer. So it's not just a printed material, it is a black material with white transfer. Whereas actually the AliExpress one is fully printed. Like you can't differentiate what's kind of star and what's black whereas when I feel this I can feel the stars I can feel the constellations they are just a very tad bit raised I was at first worried when I got my Killstar dress that the transfer would crackle or fall off or it would just look horrendous when it's stretched but actually there's so much excess material that it's not really stretching at all it just fits really comfortably um, and the bits that do stretch the transfer doesn't seem to like budge or crack at at all. This has been through the wash, it's been ironed and it's held up really really nicely and actually when I was going through my wardrobe I did find multiple other dresses such as a black one covered in little white bats which is exactly the same as this from Killstar and the transfer has held up so well. So actually it's not really a big concern for me but if you are someone who really just dislikes transfers then maybe AliExpress is the way to go because their one is printed on whereas the Killstar one is transferred on. I have to say overall the AliExpress dress isn't exactly the worst thing. The sizing is awful but the actual overall look of it isn't terrible. It definitely looks cheap but after all it was incredibly cheap. To me it doesn't have as much of a gothic look to it. I think it gives more of like a dressing up vibe whereas this dress makes me feel like a mysterious witch when I wear it. So overall I do feel like the AliExpress dress is a good option if you only have like a fiver and you really want to try out this dress and see if it would suit you. Do I think that it's going to be long lasting and look high quality? No. Do I definitely recommend getting the Killstar version over it? Yes, I think the Killstar one is very reasonably priced. It is a really nice quality and it's so comfortable to wear. You can definitely tell that spending that little bit of extra money pays off. And if I have learned anything in my times of dressing goth, it is sometimes better to spend more on one really nice dress than buy seven kind of cheap mediocre dresses which never quite meet the cut.
So there you go, that is my second comparison video. This time I did try out AliExpress versus Killstar. I have to say these sites are riddled with loads of Killstar clothing and I too am riddled with lots of Killstar clothing. So if you guys did like this video, do let me know down below. I'd be really happy to buy some more items, whether it be from Wish or AliExpress or another similar counterpart to this weird Chinese marketplace and talk about the pros and the cons of buying legitimate Killstar or complete knockoffs. <laughs> so let me know, have you bought anything gothic from AliExpress which you really liked, anything that was a complete flop or even anything which was maybe a Killstar knockoff? Do let me know if you liked this style of video, I'd be really happy to make some more. Do let me know which one you'd pick. Would you pick the £6 AliExpress one or the £30 odd Killstar one? So thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. If it's sunny where you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye!